Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. So check out ScooterWest.com for all your accessories for your Vespa, no, your buddy scooter. So I don't do too many videos about the buddy scooter, but today I'm gonna to show how to put a windshield on your buddy scooter. Um, I'm a little biased towards the Vespa because the windshield solution for the Vespas is so far superior over the buddy. I'm not picking on the buddy in any means, but the way you mount the windshields is you pretty much mount it off the mirrors. And I'm gonna show you the two variations that we do have available for the Buddy scooter. They're more or less kind of a universal windshield. So maybe you're watching this video, you have a Vino 125 or many other smaller Japanese scooters, Chinese scooters, the same windshield's gonna mount up pretty much identical as it would on a Buddy. The Vespas, if you're wondering why I'm saying they're superior, is they have two tubular holes underneath the, the handlebars that their wind, specific windshields all fit into, and there's several aftermarket ones and original ones. All right, so let's get right to it. I'm gonna show you the tools needed and the two variations of the windscreens we have available for this scooter here. So part number on this is BU17. CP. This is made by Capini in Italy. Uh, it's a very universal windscreen. You could actually make slight adjustments to the angle with the mounting bracket. So personally, this is my favorite. Kind of is a sportier look. A narrow windscreen is going to kick the wind over your head and keep most of the wind off your chest, but not really protect your uh, hands and arms as much. Uh, the second style windscreen we have is the larger BU-18. And it kind of sits up a little higher, uh, gives you a little bit more protection, uh, kind of more keep, keeps the wind off your shoulder. Uh, this is the windshield we're gonna install on this scooter. And pretty much the steps of how to install these is nearly identical between the two. All right, so I'm gonna show you the tools and the hardware that's included with the windscreens. Uh, they're pretty similar how they're laid out between the BU17-CP and the BU18, but I'll open up the BU17 hardware, show you what's included. Uh, the most comical part is instructions, or there for lack of them. No pun intended that uh, BU18 doesn't include instructions as well, but pretty much you get a little paper that shows the six different or five different pieces for the windshield mounting itself. And that's pretty much all you get here. Kind of roughly shows the order of the hardware. Uh, I would just suggest watching this video all the way through. I'll show you all the tips and tricks on how to put these on. You got the strut bars and some other various parts that pretty much mount them off your mirror stems. So let's open up the BU-18 hardware kit, which is the hardware we're gonna use. I'm gonna lay it all out. So go ahead and open that up. You have the pair of identical mounting, you know, the rods that support the windscreen. You have the two brackets that come off the mirrors. You have a reverse thread spacer, and then you have two standard thread spacers. The reason being is some scooters um, have uh, standard threads on both sides. Some have a reverse thread on one side and a standard on the other. Uh, the other part that's included is these nylock locking nuts. Four of those. And then we'll look into the hardware that actually mounts the windscreen itself. So. It looks a little intimidating, like there's a lot of hardware. You got these plastic um, supports that go over the rods. You got various rubber washers, a bunch of screws and wing nuts. We got more of these nuts. Normally you only have four of them. I'm not sure why I got eight of them. And the rest of these screws right here are what support the, the windshield. So pretty much the tools needed, I would just have a set of combination metric wrenches. So for this setup, we're probably gonna use a 12. I'll skip the 13. On some instances, such as that Capini windshield, you'll need the 13. We'll need the 14 to remove the mirrors and the 17 for these 
nuts here. Uh, I also can have ratchet ones or you can use a socket, a 17 millimeter socket. Uh, one other thing that's pretty important to have is medium thread locker. Uh, these mirror, these windshields are notorious for causing your mirrors to loosen up. So I would just recommend putting medium thread lock on everything. Once you get everything into positions, you've got to get them in. So, so the first part of prep we're going to do is put these 10 millimeter nuts onto these uh, threaded mirror mounting sh shafts. Now I know why they gave us eight nuts. There's the ones that were included in the bag. Those are coarse thread. They're not going to go on here. So you can discard those or whatever, save them for another project. Uh, these are fine thread and they are going to thread on without issue. And you realize there's a ton of resistance because these are nylock locking nuts and you're going to have to use a wrench to uh, get them on. So it's going to take a little bit of work. You do this with a socket. And it gets a little easier as the nylock uh, insert starts heating up from the friction. But the idea is these don't come loose with the nylon lock and nut. So you thread the first one on. And I'll show you pretty much how far you got to go. It's pretty much almost all the threads. So you pretty much need to uh, be a little bit more than that. You could, again, also this change in the position here also changes how far out the windshield gives you about three quarter of an inch of uh, adjustability how close the windshield is to you or how far but kind of want to have the windshield as far away from our face as we can so i probably went a little bit too much on that so you know you can go back a few turns but you do have to have enough of the threads you just want the threads just starting to show um so the nylon lock and nut does the job here so And that's about right. So pretty much make uh, the second rod pretty much symmetrical, do the exact same thing. All right, so the pair of bars pretty much like go like this. I mean, obviously they're a lot further apart and you have your mirror brackets that go inside. So our right one faces in, the left one faces in as well. So it's pretty much just like such. And And for right now, we just want to have it where this rod moves around. Go a couple turns so it's pretty close. Don't have to do. Yeah, so got the threads there. You could even go back on this one if you want, either way. So we just want to leave it where this thing is loose and you can move it around. And do the same on this one. So start with your left mirror and you want to put a 14 millimeter wrench on here and pretty much it just turns counterclockwise to remove the mirror. So we'll start with this side and you want to find the left hand thread, standard thread uh, adapter and you could just test it out. I knew it was the silver one. Uh, the gold one's going to go on the right side. So We'll go ahead and put that adapter in there and I'd recommend putting the medium lock, uh, thread lock onto this adapter. Make sure you don't get it on the, the, the body work. Don't need, really need much of it. You don't want to have it on here too permanently where you need to heat things up to remove it. And you can find this uh, medium thread locker, not necessarily the Worth brand. The Loctite's like the original brand. Um, pretty much any auto parts store will have that. And this is going to be a 12 millimeter adapter. And if you want to torque that with a torque wrench, it needs to be pretty tight, maybe about 16 foot pounds. Yeah. All right. So I'd recommend throwing a rag of some sort over the bodywork, and pretty much the same steps. We're going to put a little bit of Loctite thread lock onto the mirror threads. And I'd probably use a little bit more on this. Cause you want to do a combination of locking the threads into this and also lock this lock nut when we tighten it down. So 
And this is nice and easy because it just turn it clockwise. Go ahead and tighten that bracket down. Oops. And again, get the mirror. It's you're probably gonna run out of threads. Get the mirror head approximately over the grip is about where you want it. And we're gonna leave everything a little bit loose at this point because you're gonna need a lot of adjustability when you get the wind, windscreen on. So now we'll take the right mirror off and you can go ahead and turn that clockwise to loosen up the lock nut here. So this is pretty much reverse threads on your right side. And, and pretty much do all the same steps except for we use the gold spacer. So I got thread lock on there and keep in mind reverse threads. So we're turning this counterclockwise to tighten it. Take your 12 millimeter wrench and tighten and have your, your other mirror mounting rod ready to go. Again, a, I would say a little bit more generous amount of thread lock on the mirror stem. and get it approximately where you want it. There's still a little bit of adjustability. Now we'll move on to preparing the windscreen and installing the windscreen. So next you wanna get these plastic uh, doohickeys onto the rods and I'd recommend using like a trim tool such as the Scooter West tool trim. It's a part number for these. And see, you're not gonna get them on unless you have them split open. These trim tools work really good spread the plastic piece open and you pretty much have the holes pointing outwards. Once you get them on there, they do have a lot of friction, but they will slide down. Okay. So get the trim tool in there just like such and then you can get the rod started. So take the screw, go ahead and drop the washer on and then drop a rubber washer, do the same for the, a second screw. Pretty much you can do it on all four if you wanted to. And now get the windshield. And this is again where it's useful if you had extra hands. So we'll get two of them in, like a top, both top ones. And put another washer on the inside. Then at this point, move that the strut rod up and don't worry about the position. Everything's loose at this point. You know, hence why we have the rag on top of the scooter since we're resting the windscreen right on top of that. So rubber washer. So you kind of got to lift and move these around, get them in position and Move the screw through, get the washer in there. And just keep everything loose. You're just, everything's loose at this point. That's the way you wanna keep it. Move that up. Again, this is a very universal windscreen. So if you have slightly different spacing on a different scooter, it would pretty much fit most any scooter with a pair of mirror stems. So you can see the windshields right here. You do get some adjustability. Uh, right now I can fit my hand under here. You always wanna have at least a quarter inch of a gap. Uh, we're gonna start tightening these mirrors just ever so slightly. Not all the way. Again, reverse threads on this side. And at this point, say if you want the mirror to, or the windshield to be a little lower, we could certainly do so right at this point. And again, you could thread these in further if you want the windshield a little closer to you. I've always felt this windshield's already kind of a little close to your face to begin with. So we'll go just a little bit down to make them look symmetrical left to right. 
And I think we're pretty good right here. And at this point, you typically don't even need to um, have a screwdriver. These you do not want to tighten all that tight because it is, all it is is sandwiching the rubber washers for the wind, windshield. So I'm just using my finger to kind of support the screw. That's, you know, and they're just hand tight and that's it. So you get all these wing nuts kind of where you want them. Make sure it all looks pretty centered. There's a little bit of adjustability. Uh, get the mirrors kind of into position you like them. Typically just rearward of the, um, the grip. At this point, you want to have these, these mirrors pretty tight. So this 14 millimeter, and you may need to also hold the spacer. So the last thing to tighten is these uh, 17 millimeter, 10, you know, the 10 millimeter nuts and you do it with 17 millimeter wrench. And that pretty much is all you need to do to get this installed. But I got one last thing for you. So yeah, it's got the classic barn door style windscreen and it's all tight and everything. Loctite will set up. That sticker is pretty hideous. So we're gonna have to remove that sticker. You see all the bubbles in there? I don't really like that at all. Um, you just gotta be careful with a uh, plexiglass windshield. Um, don't want to use acetone on this. It will just leave a big old, um, it will have like a haze. It will kind of attack the plastic. We could put a little heat at it. Uh, let's just see how it starts coming off. So I'm gonna get my nail on there and I'm certain there's gonna be some adhesive residue left behind, so. So uh, we're doing pretty good so far. So it's just a little bit of uh, adhesive residue right here. Well, if you have a windshield on a scooter, the best thing you can have to keep it clean and get rid of that little bit of adhesive residue is the Plexus plexiglass cleaner. Um, we have this available on the Scooter West web store. Just search for Plexus. Uh, it's pretty expensive, but it goes a really long way. It's great for also polishing your, your headlight. Uh, this rag to me, it's too dirty. You want to start with a brand new microfiber rag. So you got a brand new microfiber rag and get all my grubby fingerprints, that little bit of adhesive. And you pretty much buff this into the windshield. And it's got enough of an oil to it that broke, broke down that adhesive, that small amount of adhesive. But the best part of it is it really, really shines up the windshield. And if there's slight swirls, for some reason, this stuff fills it in. Um, I think it originally is like from the, you know, small aircraft, you know, like you got a windshield on a, you know, Cessna 172, a lot of times they're all plexiglass and that's what you use it for. But uh, pretty much all windscreens on motorcycles are all plexiglass or acrylic. So it's a very ideal solution. I've had a, a can of this for several years. I use it on my face shield of my motorcycle. Um, windshields and it's always handy to have and I'll usually use a rubber band and wrap it up in a microfiber rag. So pretty much you're all set up for the winter. You got a nice windscreen to keep um, the wind off you. I could tell you this height is pretty good for me. I could just just see over the edge a little bit. Um, if you're a little bit shorter than 5'8", you're definitely going to be looking through the windscreen. So keep that in mind that Capini wind, windscreen, let me just show you the difference with, um, you know, that kind of help you decide what you want to do. So I'm 5'8". Um, this one kind of straddles around. You can see it's a little lower. And my preference is a smaller, sportier windscreen. I think that would be fine. But if you're looking for the ultimate weather protection, the, the BU-18 is going to be the way to go for your buddy scooter or any other scooter. It doesn't have a standardized windshield mounting where you just need to use the mirrors. So, well, thanks for watching. Made it all the way to the end of the video. Uh, first time you stumbled across my videos. I have over 600 videos, mostly about Vespas, but there's several about the buddy scooter, Honda scooters sometimes, Yamaha scooters. Um, 
pretty much all how-to videos and consider subscribing to our channel, Vespa Motorsport.